friends, it's Kate from the Fletcher Free Library, and I'm happy to see you again. So today we're going to learn how to make some really simple ice cream in a bag. And I want to tell you the story quickly about where I got my inspiration. So I was listening to uh, Vermont Public Radio the other day, and they were talking about our dairy farms, right? We have lots of farms that have cows that the girl cows produce milk. And so the problem is right now, because kids are not in school and we're not making as many school lunches, a lot of the farmers have extra milk. They can't find places to sell their milk. And what's happening is they're having to dump some of it out and waste it. And I kind of felt bad for the cows that they did all this work and then we're wasting it. So then I thought, we could help out the farmers by making ice cream. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I don't just feel bad for the cows. I feel bad for the farms too, because it's hard work being a farmer. So I'm happy to support them. So in addition to supporting farmers, we're gonna support science and we're gonna turn this into a science lesson too. So we're gonna learn a little bit about chemistry and physics and thermodynamics. So this is gonna be really exciting. So let's talk ice cream for a minute. Where are some places that you get ice cream? Maybe the grocery store, maybe a creamy stand. Mm, can't wait to go to a creamy stand. Maybe you make it at home with a special ice cream maker. Did you know that you don't even need any special equipment to make ice cream at home? And you don't need a lot of special ingredients very simple ingredients that we'll talk about in a minute. And there's no chemicals and no preservatives. So we're gonna make a nice natural ice cream together. So let's get started and then we'll talk science afterward. So I've got some measuring cups and a bowl. We need one cup of whole milk. That's the milk with all the fat in it. I'm gonna measure this Bend down and measure, because you know that we need to bend down to measure liquids. Okay, so we've got one cup of milk. I'm gonna stick it right in my bowl. And then I'm gonna use the same measuring cup and I'm going to put one cup of half and half. And half and half is a mixture of cream and milk together. So it's not quite as fatty as cream, but it's still pretty rich and delicious and that's gonna help make this creamy. So I need a cup of half and half. And again, I bent down. Okay, so cup of milk, cup of half and half. Thank you, cows. Put it together. And then we need something to sweeten it. And you could use sugar, but I'm gonna use maple syrup because I like maple syrup best. And um, plus it comes from Vermont. So we've got maple syrup. We keep our maple syrup in a little bear so that it doesn't come out too fast. And I need three tablespoons. That's the big one. So I'm gonna just bend down and measure them out. Shoot, pull up, dump it in. Number two, dump it in. I told you this is pretty simple. Number three, okay, three tablespoons of maple syrup, delicious. And then I need a little dash of salt. Okay, not much, but you remember I said that salt helps to bring out flavor. So I'm just gonna take a little pinch, choop, and I throw the rest in the sink. And then finally, my final ingredient is vanilla. So you could use liquid vanilla, or I also have a vanilla paste, and I'm gonna use the paste because I like the vanilla flavor. And so it just pours out, it's just a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna stick that in my teaspoon, one teaspoon, and I'm gonna use my teaspoon to mix it because I already have it here. And that way the vanilla will come off the teaspoon. So I'm gonna mix that up, get that ready. It takes almost nothing at all. That's it, that's the whole recipe right there. Milk, cream, vanilla, sugar, and a pinch of salt. Okay. So here's the fun part. We're gonna stick this in a bag. Yes, you heard me, a bag. So I've got a Ziploc bag, a 
and I'm going to pour my milk directly in there. Watch this. Okay. Ooh, I got all my vanilla in there too. And then I'm going to squeeze out the air. Most of it. And seal up my bag. And then I'm going to test it to make sure it's totally sealed. And then this is kind of scary. I'm going to tip it over. Ooh, look at that. Nothing comes out. But just to be sure, I'm going to put it inside a second bag. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute, because we don't want anything to get into our ice cream while we're making it. So now I have two bags, so it's like impossible for it to break. Okay, so I have two bags. And now we're almost ready. So you'll notice that this is a liquid, right? Um, and the reason I know it's a liquid is it takes the shape of the container. So in here, it took the shape of this bowl. And then when I put it in the bag, now it's all flat. Okay, so that's a liquid. And we want to turn this liquid into a solid, something that holds its own shape. Like, this is a solid. It doesn't change shape, but the stuff inside it that's liquid, it changes shape. So that's that's just one little piece of the science. So let's come back and we'll learn some more. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator while we talk. So we could pop our mixture right in the freezer and freeze it up. But it wouldn't be ice cream, right? It would just freeze as one solid block of milk and cream and vanilla. It wouldn't be very satisfying. It wouldn't be creamy and light and delicious. So we're not going to do that. So um, what we are going to do is we're going to shake it in a mixture of ice and salt, which sounds pretty weird. So let's back up just a second. So water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? And um, you might notice, you might have noticed last week when it snowed a little, it was raining for a while and all of a sudden that rain turned to snowflakes and that was the temperature difference between liquid water and solid. So um, it's, it's it's pretty quick, the change from one to another. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit more about how the ice and the salt together make this uh, chemical reaction. The thing about ice cream is, ice cream is not water. Ice cream needs to be even colder than 32 degrees to freeze. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna change the chemistry of our ice. When you add salt to ice, it lowers the freezing temperature and it gets kind of slushy and so it will be even lower than 32 degrees. It might be 30 degrees or 28 degrees and that's enough to freeze our ice cream. And it's the same science that we use when we put salt on our sidewalks or on our roads and that helps lower the, the freezing temperature of the water that's already on the road so it doesn't freeze which is good for driving. Um, so let's see if there's anything else. No, I think we are ready to get started. So I've got a half of a bag of ice right here, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add salt to it. So I have a cup of just regular salt. You could use a special salt called rock salt if you have it at home, most people don't. This is just table salt, the same stuff we use for cooking. So I'm gonna put a cup of salt in there to change the chemistry and make it holder and then we're going to add our ice cream in there seal it up and start shaking right and we're going to have to shake this crazy for like seven to ten minutes maybe something you want to take turns with in your family or turn on some music and have a little dance party but uh i'm going to want you to watch what's happening as you're shaking it you're going to want to stop every once in a while and take a peek and, uh, and know that the shaking is breaking up the ice crystals as your ice cream forms so that it'll be fluffy and light instead of one big block of ice cream or ice, which would be disappointing. So let's, let's do this. So I've got a bag of ice. I'm gonna just pour my salt in the whole thing, mix it around a little, and stick my ice cream in there. And now you can see why we double bagged it, right? So that we didn't um, 
kid uh, salt in our ice cream. I'm going to put some on both sides. I'm just going to use my hands to move some of the ice around a little. Okay, that looks good. I'll break that off. I'm going to seal this one up too. And I'm going to double check it. And then I'm going to tip it over. Okay, we're good to go. I'm just going to be shaking. Okay, so I've been shaking for about 10 minutes. I had a little dance party. So let's see what kind of deliciousness we had. And you also notice I kind of shaked on the counter too after a while because you know, your arms get tired. So you might want to switch people. You might want to wrap it in some towels so your hands don't get too cold. But let's see what's in here. So here's my slushy ice. I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna put this on a towel. And I'm going to take out the one bag, and then we have another bag inside. Let's see if it leaked. Oh my goodness. No longer a liquid. We got solid ice cream in here. So let me wipe it off. Open it up. I get to be the first taster. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to stick my spoon in. Look what I have. Oh my God, delicious. Mm. Mm. So I'm gonna put a little in a bowl. Maybe I'll go find a taste tester in my house. Yum, I'm gonna take one more taste. Mm -mm -mm. I am super psyched to share this with my family tonight. Now it's your turn. So, I'm going to, for right now, put this back in the freezer, and then I'm going to transfer it to a little bowl. Then it'll be easier to get out. And it'll continue to harden up a little in your freezer, or you could eat it right away. Or you could mix in some things, little cookies or sprinkles or fruit, um, whatever you want. Maybe a little chocolate syrup. That sounds good to me. So have fun making your ice cream and maybe having a little ice cream dance party. And I'll see you the next time. Have a fun day, friends. Come here. Let me know how it is. Is it delicious? Is that a tail wag? Is it good? I think it's pretty cold. You're a lucky dog. Are you my taste tester today? All well, the boys are sleeping, otherwise I'd ask them.